How's it going? I'm going to be doing an oil filter change to the H2. Um, the bike's done 3,800 miles. It said its last oil filter change 2,000 miles ago. When I was doing the exhaust, I noticed that the engine oil was looking pretty dirty, so I've decided just to go ahead and change it. I should have really done this job when I had the editors off, but that would have been the smart thing to do. I just thought we'd make this video, a wee video for basically something today. Um, and for somebody that's never done the job before, it's a pretty easy job on most bikes. You don't need to take it to the dealer to do it. I've really no other kind of big plans for the bike really. I'm waiting on an air filter coming for it uh, from Sprint, direct from Sprint. Uh, you can't buy it off the shelf, they make them to order. So I ordered it about three weeks ago, so uh, it should be here in a couple of weeks hopefully. So this is, a bit, this is something you're going to need. Uh, drain pan, your oil, uh, that's supplied by my local Kawasaki dealer. Went and collected it this morning. Tool kit, filter wrench, and uh, a light, so you can see what you're doing. Some coffee or beer. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon here on a Monday uh, in Scotland, so it's a wee bit early for beer, so we're going to uh, have some coffee while we do it. All right. Right, so first things first, what we want to do is uh, fire the bike up, kind of get a bit of heat in the bike. You don't really want to do this job cold. Uh, it's a much thorough job if uh, the engine's nice and warm and the oil's kind of a bit thinner. So we'll fire the bike up and just let it get a wee bit of heat in it and take it for there. Now the bike's warm, what we want to do is we want to loosen our, loosen our uh, filler cap. Uh, this will be a lot different on your own bike, probably just a, a standard cap, but on the H2 it's a wee bit different. Uh, this is just a set I use at work. Uh, so I'm just loosen this off. Uh, so when we crack the sump plug, it's going to pull everything through. Uh, and it'll be nice and clean and drain as much as possible. I've jumped around to the other side of the bike. Uh, and here is a sump, a sump plug, uh, which is an 8mm Allen key. Filming this on my phone, so bear with me guys. Look at the colour of that. Holy shit. Not good, man. Not good. Now it's uh, draining off a wee bit. It's actually not too bad. Uh, it's actually pretty It's pretty clean. It must have been just all the shit at the bottom, lying at the bottom of the sump. Um, now, it's really up to you how often you change your bike, but it depends how hard, hard you ride it. I tend to change my oil and filter twice a year. Yeah, track days depending, obviously, but um, I certainly with a bike like this, you want to be doing it at the very least twice a year. Right, that's draining nicely. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to take the, the old filter off here. Uh, I'm not going to throw it away just yet. I want to empty it out just to get rid of all the remaining dirty oil and you can see it's letting some more drain out there. That's all the oil that's running for the gallery, the filter housing. So take this off, just drain it. I've drained the filter. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the old filter back on. I 
and a bot. Just want this to be nipped up. We're going to take it back off anyway. So I've bought some old, some cheaper, uh, some cheaper oil, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through uh, just to get the remaining any of the remaining dirty oil out. I'm going to run it through and then drain this oil before we put the expensive stuff in it and then it'll be super clean man. We have we've drained the oil uh, we have drained the filter we've got the sump plug back in now what I'm going to do uh, this bike takes four and a half litres 4.4 according to uh, my man at Kawasaki so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four litres of this cheap 1040 fully synthetic in it I'm going to run the bike up to temperature and then I'm going to drain the oil again Right, so same deal as last time uh, we're going to crack the sump plug get that cheap stuff out that we've gone through with the oil system and took up all the residue of the old oil remaining um, let that drain nicely, that's nice and clean that's what we like to see man get this run the right way, that'll help just watch obviously your header's going to be absolutely roasting and so is the oil as well, the oil's going to be warm so we'll just get this out of the way there we go let that drain as you can see it's coming out nice and clean yeah, so I'm going to let that drain and I'm going to make a coffee while it's draining right, welcome back so one coffee and a wee bit later you can see no more drips. I went to my local Kawasaki dealer this morning, as I said before, and I said, give me the best oil we've got for my H2, and this is this is what it recommended. Now, uh, it gave me a choice, as you can go semi-synthetic or fully synthetic. Uh, they tend to say, if you're riding a bike a bit harder, uh, then you should go with fully synthetic, and because we like to ride bikes hard, We've went for fully synthetic. So I'm going to put the sump plug back in. Now before I do it, <laughs> I know some folk are probably going to go coconuts. Oh my God, you should change the washer, change the washer. And ideally I would have liked to have done that, but unfortunately I forgot to get a new washer. In fact, I'll just check, see if it comes with us in the kit. Something to do. No. On inspection, it looks pretty, pretty decent actually, so I'm quite happy about putting it back in. So please refrain from giving me grief in the comments and saying, change the washer, alright? And all this needs is just a wee nip. Oh fuck. Next up is we'll put the filter on. Shiny, genuine Kawasaki filter. Just going to fill that up and that just helps when we first fire the bike up that's not going to starve anything of oil I'm going to say that that we need to put a wee bit of film of oil in the seal here uh, but actually the kawasaki oil filler comes pre-lubed which is always good a little bit of lube goes a long way man <laughs> screw this on you don't want to over tighten this so i'm going to tighten it up as much as I can with my hand oh, it's nice and tight that's it you don't want to tighten it any more than that we've got our oil we're going to stick uh, 4 litres in and uh, see how we get on fire the bike up uh, and run it just for a wee minute or so just to get that new oil through the system 
um, and then we'll check the level and top it up accordingly. Okie doke, so uh, I've ran the bike for a wee minute or two um, just to let, get the oil circulated and through the, the new filter. Also what I've done is I've actually just propped the bike up on the front stand as well so the bike's as level as possible. You've got your, your top and bottom mark there. We don't want to overfill it with oil. Overfilling it is just as bad. I'm just going to keep topping that up till it's nice. Uh, it's at its nice level. Also, I've just noticed that the bike's covered in watermarks from the last time I washed it. So, I've got all these to deal with as well. So, that's it. Job done. I've topped the oil level up to the correct mark. Whatever and sit for 10 15 minutes, level out. I'm more happy with that. So, the only thing left to do is next time I'm out, well next time I've fired the bike up anyway, I'll get it up to temperature and I'll just triple check that there's no any wee leaks or uh, seeps of oil from the filter or the, the sump plug. Um, aye, there's loads of different ways of doing this, you know, this was a bit overkill because I just wanted everything to be absolutely perfect. Um, you know, I know there's loads of different ways of doing it, maybe I've not done it the way you've done it. That you would, the way you would do it, sorry, um, you know, all I can say to that is calm down, Peter Panic, you know, everybody's different. <laughs> but hopefully we can get out there soon, uh, get some, some decent shots if I can find my bloody GoPro lead, charge the GoPro up and get using that again. Um, and we'll get some, some shots kind of out the road and stuff like that and stretching our legs. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, aye, if you did, leave me a comment. Cheers.